Hip hop uh, music. Hip hop music is something uh, very near and dear to someone like me um, and, uh, because I grew up at the time when some of this uh, was forming. Uh, rap music was forming and um, hip hop was forming and I grew up in the United States uh, at that time and um, the radio I, re I remembering uh, early stages you know I was listening to the radio pretty much every day to go to sleep I would put the radio on sleep and I had it on the the radio station which would play kind of uh, hip hop type music uh, R&B hip hop and then introduced rap songs um, so first before I say anything else I want to say a couple of things number one I'm very uh, thankful to all of the hip hop artists uh, that have that have contributed and shared uh, their life experience through their music or those artists that have created uh, poetry in motion with the lyrics that they've created uh, coupled with the beats and I want the second thing I want to highlight is it's interesting when we say hip-hop today uh, and I'm not claiming to be a historian. I'm not. I'm not anybody who has a uh, a degree in analyzing music. Uh, but I did want to say that it it for a while it was confusing to me what hip hop meant in the context of rap and rap in the context of hip hop. And I guess because uh, when I kind of grew up, I knew about some songs like get a hip hop hip it it be you don't stop and those type of songs which was more like I, I don't remember calling it hip hop back then um but i guess it was i mean i was just not aware and then later there were more songs that uh talked about different things and you can look up the artists that I don't want to highlight too many famous people uh, on these talks but uh, you, you, there's many you can look up like I Ain't No Joke and some of the inception of um, like what I consider the masters of, of rap uh, from the beginning stages they were putting lyrics together you had to carry a dictionary to understand some of the things they were saying and to follow it so I really appreciate that, but like I said, it, I wasn't sure as as this term hip hop started becoming the cultural aspect. It didn't dawn on me. I mean, it it didn't dawn on me early on what was the real, what was, rap in the context of hip hop. I just always looked at rap as something kind of different, but I know that has evolved, or maybe it was always like that. I just didn't realize it. I know it's evolved into uh, an all-encompassing hip-hop culture, which contains uh, rap music and some uh, dance-type R&B music that can have some semblance of not really rapping, but rhyming and and putting lyrics together. And you know, the, the, there's many artists today that do it. Uh, but nonetheless, this isn't about a, a technical analysis of, of rap versus hip hop. I just wanted the chance to share um, maybe the impact that as someone growing up around rap and ultimately in hip hop and, and around in the, some of the communities I was in at a younger age, I wanted to share what I believe was was just an amazing upbringing um, and some influence that those things have had on on me as a child and and kind of what I'm maybe what I'm sensing today um, uh, some positives and, and some negatives uh, which I'm sure you've heard other 
feedback before. But so let me start with this, with with uh, being young and growing up when my friends were around and, you know, and they we, we had kind of like um, a lot of fun doing different things. Once the the rap came onto the scene, it gave kind of like a another level of competition on how well we as children, we as kids could form uh, poetry on the fly, you know, and and try to make it into something that made sense and and just do that almost like a battling each other, not an official rap battle, but just just for fun and and it it really uh I want to say thank you again to the rappers who started all this because it it definitely helped to instill a level of uh healthy pride and a level of uh healthy self-confidence in in myself uh and it gave me it occupied some of my time so I could spend time, especially as I got a little bit older into the teenager, mid-teenager years, spend some time trying to create uh, lyrics that can be written down. And then later, so this is why this, this topic is supposed to be about hip-hop. Later, and looking back on how all that rap started and how it gave that level of... Um, soothing pride and and kind of like something was in that that was magical and then you you layer on that kind of the hip hop which i couldn't have described it as hip hop back in the 80s i i didn't know it was just the bebop or something different i don't remember the word hip hop being used but to layer that on later as i got older and as you are aware of today and bring in such a, like a smooth, rhythmic, poetic uh, spin with like an R&B flair to the whole music and, and make it a whole big culture around it is really just amazing how it was formed as a genre and how hip hop has has crossed uh, all the barriers globally. It's 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 an international uh, genre uh, phenomenon where all cultures, all pe- all people from different cultures and backgrounds are participating in it. They have the ability to uh, express themselves and they have outlets. And that is just a wonderful uh, thing to, to know we can have that outlet using our vocal and rhythmic capability, which just started from a oh, yeah, beatbox and, you know, kind of like banging on something and making, putting some some uh, lines and words together. So that I see, and, and then you have, in addition to that, I was going to say that I see is a very positive thing today. But in addition to that, it's not just expressing through rap, it's expressing through the, the feeling that's impl- like uh, that scent, I was going to say implemented, but the feeling that's sent from the music uh, from a hip hop perspective, to give that uh, that 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 rhythmic sensation, uh, it's still amazing. I mean, it's even if it's not considered just rap, it's still amazing. The thing I think today uh, that may not be as positive is, and this is what I appreciated back then, which I feel like it's it's not there today. Back then, uh, it was more, I was listening to the radio at night. I couldn't see a lot of the rappers and singers. I was just listening to the pure talent of the music and the amazement around that. Today, it feels like, because of videos and, and things, most of the focus is on what we see, but it's not necessarily on what we're hearing and processing and it's I don't I don't yes there's a there's something valid and our our eyes can feast, uh, but if if the talent if that has overtaken the talent of actual music then I I don't see that as necessarily a positive thing, and I'm not saying that there are some very talented hip hop writers today, 
that I'm, I'm looking forward to highlighting and, and recognizing um, in some of the collections I'm putting together. But it feels like the vast majority of, of what we what we as artists are, are doing, I'm not a, not a professional artist, but I am. I do do some music uh, um, on my own. Uh, but as a professional artist, it feels like the focus today is more on uh, creating something that's visually uh, pleasing and layering in that in with some still talent, but in a different way. And, you know, I just... I'm not sure if if that approach is really long long lasting and long standing for our society because unfortunately when we see something uh you know our eyes like it but eventually you know that that visual um processing can can become routine and mundane and even the most extreme of extremes in how we present something visually. But something about the hip hop music uh, in its purest form, without seeing it, just listening to it, just hearing it, just enjoying it for the talent, from the talent of the artists that have created it. Uh, there's something about that which, which again, pierces the soul. It goes from that artist, uh, their talent, their vocals, their, the producers that have put the music together, and that carries over into us through a soul, almost like a, a, a I want to say, and this is me, this is my opinion, almost like a spiritual sort of a level where we, you know, it, it's the music that can live in us and that reminds us of how uh, important things are. So I'm going to stop. I'm, I'm just talking over and over. But I wanted to highlight um, hip-hop. It is important. I really appreciate the artists that have put their, their hip-hop things together today. Very talented. And I'm just hoping that we, as a society... Uh, and I believe this is going to happen anyway. We we continue to evolve, and we evolve back to the purest of the music, and move away from all of the images. <laughs>